What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo here, and in this short tutorial I'm going to give you guys a quick fix for a problem that you may have come across where the grooms on your metahuman do not follow along with the mesh. It's a problem with the binding assets, and this is as of UE version 5.3, this is still an issue. Um, I'm not quite sure what triggers it. Um, I noticed that I didn't really have the problem with live retarget, but once I created an animation blueprint from scratch, I started to see this problem. Um, and I'm going to give you a quick fix right now. So if we just open up our character's blueprint, um, and if you click on the grooms over here, you'll see in the details panel, this binding asset. Now the one that wasn't following along with my mesh right here was the beard. You'll see that the binding asset here is selected. Um, but if we change this or clear it and then try to select it again, it just won't let you select it. It's a really strange bug. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the event graph. We're going to find our event begin play here. I'm going to move it over here where I've got a bit more space. Make this a bit bigger. Move everything away from event begin play here. And on event begin play, I'm going to create a sequence. And then I am going to pull each of my groom assets out into the event graph here. Eyelashes, fuzz, eyebrows, and hair. And then I am going to set the binding asset set binding asset. I'm going to duplicate this once for each other because I might do three real quick to make this a bit quicker. Okay, plug these into the next pin execution pin on the sequence. Plug in all these execution pins and the target will be the groom asset on each one. Now, instead of going through and selecting each binding asset, um, I'm going to give you a bit more of a foolproof way to make sure that you're selecting the right one. How we're going to do that is for beard, we're going to select the beard. And then on the binding asset down here, we're going to click the browse icon. We'll take you to that binding asset. And then once it's selected here, go back in here and click this use asset browser selection to set it to the one you've got selected. So we'll work our way down here, click on mustache, browse to the asset, go back here, click on the little arrow, eyelashes, browse to that asset, back here, click the little arrow, next is fuzz, browse, back to the blueprint, click on the arrow, so on and so forth. Eyebrows and hair being the last one. Binding asset. Set that one. Now, there's one more step here to make this work every time. This is the fix that I've found. What I'm now going to do is now that I'm setting these on event begin play, I am going to go through each binding asset and clear it. Mustache, clear that binding asset, so on and so forth. I'm just going to double check that all of those are cleared. compile and save. Now, if this doesn't work, you might just need to save everything, close the editor and restart. So save all, I'm going to close that. Now I've got my project files open here off screen. I'll just reopen that project. If anyone's following along with my true first person shooter tutorial series, this doesn't matter too much because you have, uh, if you've been following along, you've hidden 
everything on the head um, but still you might want to sort this out just in case your shadows are a bit uh, a bit messy um, but there we have it guys that has fixed the issue if this has been of any use or value to you whatsoever please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one